Morning and welcome back to the channel. Um, this morning I'm out at the Weber Kettle Grill, which is my favorite grill of all time. So I have the Performer model, so really it just comes with this table. And the lid slides off easy. Um, so I have a problem. It's easy to cook two tri-tips on this with indirect heat. And, and let me show you this arrangement. So there's the sear plate, 6.8 liter sear plate, but this is set up with these baskets you can put the charcoal in, and then you put the meat down the middle for your indirect heat, indirect cooking. Well tri-tips are pretty big, and two tri-tips fit on here very easy, but I often have enough people that I need to cook three tri-tips. So what I really need is a triple tri-tip rack. So. Let's go out in the garage and see what I came up with.
Alright, it's starting to get hot in here. But I got all the parts cut out. I know you saw in this one, uh, had some issues. Um, forgot to hook up the ground clamp. And then I had a worn electrode. <clears throat> but I was able to recover from that. Replace the electrode. Uh, I think on the third one I forgot to hit the uh, put the ground clamp on again, but got them all cut out. So now let's weld them together. Well, clean them up and then weld them together. Okay, so this is basically what the tri-tip, the triple tri-tip rack looks like. Get this foot to hold one on there, one on here, one on here. They overlap a little bit, but they shouldn't cover each other. Um, well, let me get the, get the welder going and we'll stick them together and see what we think. So it looks like I'm going to need some alterations to get the lid to close. Um, this is too close to the lid and that, mostly because this foot um, is that it's taking up a lot of space because of this angle. So I'm going to tip that forward and I'm going to cut the corners off of here that allow me to slide it this way and I'll see if that will make it fit. So let's do that now. Okay, slight redesign. It doesn't quite fit like I want it to. So... I gotta cut some things down a little bit. First I have to disassemble. Okay, 
got a slight redesign i've got a higher steeper angle should bring everything together a little bit so i'm going to tack that together and try it and if that doesn't work i'm kind of out of time for this weekend so it might be like a part two so wish me luck let's see how this goes Well, good news I think that's gonna work so I'm gonna do some finished welding real quick and we'll get her on the grill I mean I've got to wash this thing and season it real quick before I try to cook with it and I want to cook with it today so better get to it Well, there you go. That's my triple stack tri-tip rack. There'll be three tri-tips on there and it'll fit in my Weber kettle. Um, this is not the end of the video, but I need to get something to drink and let this cool off. And then I want to wash it real good and then I'll oil it up and cure, um, season it. 
um, in the griddle and then uh, this evening for dinner I will cook three tri-tips on this so and I'll show you that in a second. Alright here's my triple stack tri-tip rack maybe that's what we'll call it. Anyway just got finished curing it's still 300 degrees but I'll let it cool and I'll get this set up and we'll well it's a little bit early but I'll get it all set up and we'll fire it up and cook three tri-tips in it. I'll bring you back and show you. Okay, the grill's hot, and we're gonna drop the tri-tips on the gr griddle. The new what, triple stack tri-tip rack, I think that's what I'll call it. It's just a dry rub. I think it's Weber brand, actually, even though I'm not a married to Weber brand. just happens to be from my local Sam's Club. And there you go, three tri-tips standing up. Got it set up for um, indirect heat so the coals in the baskets on either side. And I'm going to close this up and I'll bring you back in 45 minutes and we'll see what it looks like. So that's how I typically do it. All right, it's been 45 minutes, so let's see what this looks like. First opening on camera. There we go. Bring you closer. Three tri-tips. I assume they'll be done at one end, but that's okay because there's always those well-done people. But uh, should be good to go. I'm going to take it out and let it rest for a few minutes and we'll cut her open. And I would say this is the very complicated way to get three tri-tips on your Weber kettle grill. Only requires a CNC plasma, a welder, and some eighth inch plate, but you too can do it. And that's that. Um, wish us luck at dinner and uh, thanks for watching.